Welcome back to Gothic Homemaking. The Halloween season is finally upon us. Well, the Halloween season isn't upon us, but all of the stores are finally starting to lay out their offerings for Halloween 2019. And just like I've done for the last couple of years, you know I'm going to take you to all of the big stores and show you what they're selling this Halloween season. But moreover, I'll help you to decide between the Halloween-y stuff that should really only be displayed at Halloween versus the macabre, elegant items you can use to decorate your lair year-round. Now, recently I had a show in Las Vegas, and the next day I took a trip to a Michaels in Henderson, Nevada. Take a look. Upon walking into the store, I was instantly greeted by a lot of fall harvest decorations, and I thought, hey, is this a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby? Venturing further into the store, I found an employee and asked him, hey buddy, where's the Halloween section? Yeah. Ugh. Never mind, I'll find it myself. I passed some more fall decor, turned a corner and I saw a snake on the floor. And that's when I knew I had entered Halloween land. There were lots of the ubiquitous skeletons and skeletons of animals that we've gotten used to seeing every year. But this year there was a new design that I really loved. Having spent a month in Mexico researching Santa Muerte, this winged skeleton seemed really cool to me. And there were other winged skeletons like this one and this one and lots of Grim Reapers, like this Grim Reaper statue, and you can count down the minutes until your time to go with this Grim Reaper clock. Bats were also in full effect, and one of my favorite items was this bat totem. The bats had kind of a vintage look about them, and they were really wonderfully sculpted. This one is a must-have, and it's definitely coming home with me. Of course, they also had the usual rubber bats, but to be honest, this one's a little too Halloween-y for me to hang in the lair. But then I found this one. And let me tell you, after having spent three months in Indonesia surrounded by giant bats, this bat is beautifully sculpted. I absolutely fell in love with it. Getting back to rubber animals, there were bats, of course, and black cats, this crazy squirrel, and this rat that reminded me of a union strike in front of a building. If you live in New York, you know what I mean. There were also these crazy frogs. I loved the black ones. And you know what they say about toads. So, when no one was looking, I gave it a kiss. But it didn't turn into Elvira, so I put it back on the shelf. Fortune telling is another popular theme there this year. There were skeleton fortune tellers and psychic motifs palmistry imagery, and lots of crystal balls, including ones that light up. Another popular motif this Halloween is Vintage Halloween, and Michaels is at the top of the game, with some of these characters that look like they're right out of a Max Fleischer cartoon from the 20s. I absolutely love them. Yoga skeletons, a motif from last year, are more popular than ever, though I'm just going to have to pretend I understand why. There were also skeleton wall hangings, X-ray skeleton wall hangings. And you know because I'm a pirate, I love these iron skeleton keys. There were skeletons in bathtubs, skeletons on thrones made of books, and skeletons on, well, other kinds of thrones. There were also items from last year, like this crow on a branch. And if you missed out on the candelabras from last year, those are back too. Also returning from last year were these beautiful bottles, but I see they didn't learn their lesson because they're still gluing the lids on. And as you can see, customers try to take the lids off and break them in the process, as is also evidenced with these. Searching around, I finally did find a vessel with a removable cork. So you know that one's coming home with me. These also had removable tops. These cans came back from last year, but the color scheme last year was black and orange. They've added purple this time, so you know I had to have that bat one on the left. And there were these amazing jars, which I'll use someday when I renovate the kitchen. Speaking of which, I bought all of these items as well for my kitchen. These small cauldrons will be perfect to hold small items. And this big one I'll use for silverware. Speaking of which, my growing collection of skeletal silverware just got a little bit bigger with these skeleton cheese spreaders. They also had a really lovely serving tray. Now as it happens, Michaels also has a large collection of miniatures, and every year I stock up on them for a cemetery model I someday hope to build. 
I pick up tombstones and cemetery gates and gargoyles. And this year my haul was pretty fruitful. This is going to be an epic cemetery. Someday. But seriously, can we talk about this vase shaped like a pair of Victorian boots? Like, can I get these in a size 12? And lastly, there were these decorative candy dishes shaped like raven wings and bat wings. And you can use those to decorate your lair year round, along with most of the other things that I featured in this segment. Michael's really seems to have something for everyone this holiday season, except Orville. Ha! What a great way to start our review of Halloween store offerings for 2019. This has been a really strong one, and I look forward to taking you to all of the other stores to see what they're offering. Until then, a very early happy Halloween to you. Thanks for watching Gothic Home AV.